Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. A couple of Alberinos uh, today, uh, one from Spain, one from California. Um, which I do first? I'll do the Spanish one, uh, it, uh, which is uh, Tesco's own label, Venus Del Rey uh, Alberino 2016. I can't remember, is it Martin Kodax who makes this? Um, they, I know they certainly used to make it. Um, oh golly, it's in tiny letters there. It might be Martin Kodax. It was at one point, but uh, I may be wrong now. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. A bit of light peach and slight uh, creaminess to it. Um, there's tw 2016 vintage and we're in uh, start of April 2018 now. Won't be surprised if the 2017 is going to be around uh, reasonably soon, but probably in time for summer. But I have this bottle hanging around, which I thought I'd compare with this. Compared with how I, um, first time I remember tasting it, last year, uh, it was uh, a little bit um, tauter, pithier, crisper. Here it seems to have uh, rounded out, fleshed out a bit. And it smells good, uh, but a different beast at this age from what it was um, a year ago. Still a nice beast. Um, got this, um, yeah, pear, a uh, little bit of um, custard apple, chirimoya. And uh, there is that some of that pithy citrus and peach edge coming through on the finish. Um, and still has you going and leaving a sappy freshness in your mouth. And... Um, all in all, nice, good, satisfying summer glug. Actually, it's April here, and um, it's not been extremely summery weather. It rained a couple of days ago. Anyway, second wine. We're in California now, and a year older. Marimar Torres, um, I can't remember how long they've been doing Albarino now. It might, might even be 10 years, maybe a bit less. But um, So this is the 2015 uh, from the Russian River Valley. Um, and let's have a look at the difference in alcohol. Uh, the Tesco one uh, weighs in at, I uh, can't see it on there, oh, it's on the front, oh, they're both 13%, so let's give this one a whirl. This smells like a richer, fuller, uh, I don't think they've used any oak here, but it feels like it's going to be a fuller, fleshier, creamier style. And if there was the peach, stroke nectarine on the first one, here it is plumper and peachier, uh, maybe getting into a little bit uh, slightly more exotic fruits. And it's a year older, but it's still, it's, it, it's almost a keener, cleaner flavour uh, than, cleaner's the wrong word, but certainly a keener, crisper flavour uh, here. And the more of a, maybe more of a minerally precision. And uh, yeah, there's this stony character that's going all the way through it. It's not, yeah, it feels, if you'd asked me which of these two were the um, older wine, I would have said that the Tesco, but here... It, you, you, your mouth is left uh, certainly cleansed, so it's got those quite rich flavours, uh, but um, uh, then finish-wise, uh, you're left with this poise and precision, and um, pretty nice wine. I like, I like them both. I mean, there's, a, there's a, a bit of a difference in price and ambition on them, but uh, both of them, I think, do their job pretty well. So uh, if only the weather were warm, warmer, I'd love to sit outside and have a glass of each, but uh, as it is, I'll sit in front of the... Uh, central heating and have a, a shiver and a sliver. See you soon.